Hello everyone, welcome to new episode of HVAC Education Hub channel. In this episode, we will try to explain what is ventilation heat loss, how to calculate ventilation heat loss in different scenarios, and what could be elephant in the room uh, when we are dealing with uh, ventilation heat loss. Uh, we will cover a few uh, different things, as uh, you will see on the board. So formula, delta T, how this affects our heat loss, and uh, how MVHR or mechanical ventilation heat recovery affects our heat loss. But let's start with definition. So we have heat losses in our home, and we have two different categories. First one, fabric heat loss. We already covered that in one of the first videos. This is what building is losing through walls, windows, floors, through the surfaces. Another thing is ventilation heat loss. What is ventilation heat loss? It means that when hot air is leaving uh, our house, we need to replace it with some cold air. And here we have some losses. This could be through chimneys, through opening of the doors, windows, some other ducts. And uh, you will see in very well insulated house, ventilation heat loss in percentage, it's bigger than in a uh, lower insulated house. What it means, for example, if we have four kilowatt of heat loss, three could be fabric, one could be ventilation. This is approximately 25%. And if we have 10 kilowatt, probably one and a half kilowatt or one kilowatt is still ventilation heat loss. It is 10%. So we, we are dealing with new builds. We need to take care of ventilation heat loss. Let's start with formula. So we have Q ventilation equals 0 0.33 multiplied with volume, multiplied with air changes per hour and multiplied with delta T. So 0. 33 is constant. This is density of the air, some things calculated inside, but we are dealing with constant values in formula. Volume of the room, so this is our volume in cubic meters, so surface multiplied with, with height. Air changes per hour, this is usually calculated from formulas, legislation, norms, so we have, for example, in most of the countries, air changes per hour in bathroom is 1.5. In other rooms, this is bathroom. In other rooms, it's 0 0.5. And delta T, this is the same like in fabric heat loss. So delta T between outdoor and indoor temperature. What is the first thing what we need to understand? When we are dealing with uh, calculations with formulas, usually we are talking about static conditions. So we say, for example, in Croatia, we have design outdoor temperature minus 10. We have constant here, we have volume, we have air changes per hour, and we need to calculate when indoor is 20, for example, outdoor is minus 10. We need to calculate our ventilation heat loss. What is the first unusual thing? It is that if we are calculating with minus 10 degrees, I assume no one will have 1.5 air changes per hour in bathroom or 0 0.5 uh, in another room when outdoor is minus 10. So remember when you last uh, opened your window for such a long time when outdoor is uh, design outdoor temperature minus 10. So here, in my opinion, I think we are overestimating ventilation heat loss. This is first thing, so delta T. Another thing is we are dealing with static conditions, so we don't know what is going on. The best way will be to perform door blower test. Companies specified for doing this are testing our house with some pressure and we are checking what is the real ventilation heat loss. And last point, I think in Croatia not a lot of new builds or reconstructions are installing MVHR. I assume in other countries it's the same. This is 
mechanical ventilation heat recovery. What it means? It means that we are installing some device in our uh, house with four pipes. So we have supply air, so supply clean air from the outside. We are supplying our in the room with this air and this is two pipes and stall air, so dirty air from the inside is going outside. Inside of the unit is heat exchanger, so we are not losing this hot air as we will lose if we open the window. So we have recovery, heat recovery, and we are lowering our ventilation heat losses. Quality of the air is really good. So this is for new builds with really good insulations with new windows. I think this is the approach to, to go today, not in the future. But not a lot of new builds are dealing with that. And just one example. So theoretically, we have ventilation heat loss in some house, 1000 watts. This is without MVHR, so without MVHR. And for example, we have MVHR with, let's say, 80% efficiency, 80% efficiency. What it means that this unit could recover 80% of our warm air, what we have in our house, and our heat loss will be only 20%. So 100 minus 80 equals 20%. What it means? It means the same house, but with mechanical ventilation heat recovery, will have only 200 watts of ventilation heat loss. In, in order to understand it, we need to understand how heat is moving. We explained that a, a lot. So we are not giving uh, permission to our warm air to leave the building. Through heat exchanger, we are stealing this heat and we have really low heat loss, quality air inside of the building and so on. So this is more or less basics, what you need to understand when we are dealing with ventilation heat loss. It is also important to know that every country has different uh, legislation, so we need to follow national authorities. But I am always trying with my colleagues in discussions to challenge this, challenge everything, and to see what is going on in, in reality and how could we approach the design process. And we could do this only with learning, with feedback from the field, and with modeling, with that data collecting and so on. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching. Subscribe on our channel and see you next time.